Hip hop, hip hop. What I love about hip hop. I can't even answer that. The feeling's just so indescribable. I love everything about hip hop, man. It feels very empowering to be up on the microphone. Hip hop is everything to me, all aspects. It's very cathartic. It's not just music for me. Being able to play with words, having this canvas to say exactly what you thought about, whatever you like. So hip hop to me isn't just rhymes, you know? It's about showing you, oh, I believe this, or this is what I believe, this is my stance. And that's, that's a real powerful tool. Felt like they were speaking to me, telling my own story. A music that made sense to me. It's just freedom in a messy world. It's almost like a way of life. It's, you listen to this for guidance, you listen to this for strength. That's what hip hop's about. Oh man, like this is the first time I've really picked it up with, like since I've, <laughs> I've written some of this stuff. So yeah, I'm revisiting now and yeah, it's making me want to write in, in a notebook again. Yeah. I like primary school. Primary school was awesome. But yeah, high school, I didn't really have that great uh, great time really, to be honest. I, um, yeah, like I said, I was going through a lot of anxiety and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it just wasn't the right place for me during that time. My cerebral palsy affects my right side. So for example, I can't balance. Um, I can't balance properly and stuff like that. And some physical activities, um, you know, I can't, I can't do. It kind of had an effect on me in terms of like relationships and like, high school and stuff like that, but I guess I didn't realise it at the time. I guess it did contribute a lot to my, um, you know, like anxiety, as, as all teenagers go through and stuff. So I, I dropped out in year 10. It was a pretty wor worrying some time for me, um, just in terms of, yeah, what am I going to do with my life? And that anxiety kept building and stuff. And um, yeah, and just didn't really feel that secure in myself or, you know, what my future was going to be like. And then, um, yeah, 2009 is when I started coming to Dig Deep. Dig Deep is essentially a, a hip hop and urban music program that runs every Tuesday night at the channel at Arts Centre Melbourne. Our young people arrive. We usually get between 20 and 30 young people. They'll come in. They get welcomed by the leadership crew, they sit down, they've all got their own workstation, um, and then we get to work. So we might be working on a collaborative piece as a crew, we might be working on a, on a whole album that we're, that we're recording together. The guys might be working on individual pieces, they might be collaborating in small groups. We usually give them a bunch of time to sit down and work on their own music, and our, our leaders and our mentors will hang out with them and give them advice and a little bit of help if they need it. And then we'll often do things throughout the session that are kind of group activities. So we'll often do a writing challenge or um, performance kind of skills exercises. We might do a freestyle cipher. We might be working towards an upcoming gig. So we'll have, um, you know, rehearsals in our performance space. And all the while, while this is going on, we got our man Kajito in the studio holding it down and he's recording the Dig Deep participants who are working on their own solo tracks or collaboration tracks. So he'll do half hour blocks from five till eight, recording as many of our young people as possible. And then at eight o'clock, it's time to go. And we all, uh, we all head home. And then it's, um, then it's back again, same time next week. <laughs> I don't think everybody needs a creative outlet. Some people get, get by fine without it. But I think for the people that do kind of need a creative outlet, I think that creative outlet is like it can possibly be the most crucial thing in their life. Okay, so the theme for the Dig Deep Writing Challenge tonight is um, 
your journey. But there is a couple of key words I want you to think about. Um, that's growth. So like your personal growth within yourself. Change is a key word as well. And um, the third, third word is acceptance. Yeah, I want you guys to write eight bars around those, those themes. And it's going to be a bit different tonight because we're going to record these. We do like a showcasing thing where, you know, people are writing and then they just come up and share what they've been working on. And some of the stuff that they're, they're sharing is so vulnerable, but it's amazing that they feel so comfortable to share that, you know? And it's amazing the response that they get from the rest of the crew. It's really supportive. All right, so shall we perform this before we get into the, the studio? Yeah, 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 okay. All right, let's do it. All right, let's get into a circle. Uh, I don't need that's, that's what it is. Stay here and Dig deep, coming straight from six feet in the city, got us digging up to the sky, can't talk about Africa, it goes too deep when times are hard, I was taught to never ever cry. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dig deep has been representative of a musical and mental progression of oh, love spell. I'm going to stop. Dig Deep has definitely helped me through sort of some very tough times in my life around mental health. Helped me to, yeah, basically essentially sort out my thoughts and give me a, an, um, an opportunity to express myself in a way that I previously hadn't been allowed to in some ways, just in terms of a whole lot of stuff to do with just being a teenager. What Dig Deep has provided, I guess, is... It, it, it's basically safe space. Like it, it's it's a place where I can just be myself, and it doesn't like none of that matters. It's bringing together a whole lot of people from different areas, different cultures, different experiences, different backgrounds, and giving them an, a platform and an opportunity to express themselves, to you know perform, to to really put themselves out there in a way that they might not have been able to before, they might not have had the confidence to or the opportunity to, and it's, it's more than just music with Dig Deep. Someone can walk in and feel a little bit uncomfortable, or, you know, around new people, but there's already an energy as soon as you walk into the room. There's already people writing, there's people making beats, people talking about songs that, are, that they've been listening to, you know, people working on work on tracks that they were working on last week and getting feedback off each other. So you go in there and you automatically feel like there's a sense of community there. As soon as I came to Dig Deep, I was, you know, felt much more at home and, uh, you know, felt like this is where I belong because, you know, these are people like me wanting to create hip hop music just have the same passion and drive and it was just, you know, it was just natural. Yeah. <laughs> just the space of being able to express myself freely and not being judged and being in a space where um, I was able to relate to people. I'ma be a Barbie, I can be whatever I want to be. A vet, a lawyer, a radical MC. I write how I feel the music, that's my purpose when I be in the artist. But can't you see? I'm more than just that. I rock more than one hat. But raise for no rest, snap back, set up. That's what I'm talking about. My purpose so wild that I was made like this. To dress like that, to rap like this. I used to be like super shy. Um, I was too shy to talk to anyone. 
I used to come with like one of my friends and if he didn't come, like I wouldn't talk to anyone apart from the mentors. <laughs> one of the big strengths of Dig Deep has always been the fact that it's every week and it's been ongoing. If you're involved in something that regularly and you've got that space every week where you know that's your time to work on music and that's your time to connect with these people and, and work on your craft, I think amazing things can come out of that. And so when you're seeing young people who come to the program as fledgling or developing artists and spend a year, maybe two years in the program and they're coming every single week and working and pushing themselves every single week, what it happens is you see just how enormous their growth can be. There's people you can connect with, like people you can really, really talk to. I've seen all types of people come here, people who are like really, really serious about their music, people who just find it fun, people who like feel lost in life, people who have like maybe issues at home with their parents or something. They come here, they feel safe, right? They feel like they have a family, which is weird that a, one program is able to um, provide for all like those people. No matter what's going on in my personal life, I can still come to dig deep and do what I gotta do be uncomfortable, be comfortable, right, not right, it's all good. You're not focused on like all the other negativity in the world, you're kind of fully engaged with something that you're passionate about, that you derive meaning from. So, I mean, it's, it's hard to describe, I guess. It's hard to compare. When Dig Deep started and when I started, um, to, when I first became involved, I had no idea the scope um, of things that it would go on to kind of achieve. It was about providing support for a whole bunch of diverse young people to come in and collaborate and take part in artistic creation through the medium of hip hop. That program started out initially as a two-week program. It had about eight young people, uh, and it was nearly a... We had two different artists coming in each day. Different artists, so young people get the opportunity to get different perspectives on work. Uh, and we did a week of kind of workshops and writing and beat making, and then we did a week in the studio kind of turning out an EP. It definitely gave me the kickstart to say yes this is what I want to do in the music industry and to you know make something of it and yeah it really it, it's it's one of the grassroots and the the foundations of who I am as well. Lash, yeah. So initially when the program started it started as like a, a music program where the goals were really simple people would come in the space would be a safe space and that um, they could make music together that was the kind of it for the program but as it developed and as it moved on and as we built relationships with the young people in the program, we started to shift it to wider community goals, like ideas that spaces should be accessible for everybody, so that shouldn't cost anything for people to come and do the program. People can stay in the program as long as they need to get what they need out of the program. And then those people who did stay on in the program would have opportunity to kind of like identify their own skills beyond music and apply those skills to kind of reshape the program. So keeping it all kind of amorphous and kind of flexy and being able to kind of um, shift based on the need of the group as well as the needs of the wider community who the group represents. It was crazy because we got to work with cool people like Mantra and Glenn and Dan West and they would always bring this side that you would never hear of. It was so much more than music. It was, like I said, it was community, um, it was family and just a, a place to hang out. Just helped me grow better as a musician, but also as a person as well. I got to make lifelong friendships, was, which helped me even to today. There's a time when I was a kid, I told my mom, I don't think I'll pass to like 25 or I would ever pass 30 years old because I felt like somewhere, somehow, somebody might kill me, you know, because of what was going on. 
growing up in a refugee camp, um, you know, there was too much wars, you know, like on the radios, all you, keep, all you hear about was wars. And outside nighttime, all you hear is guns or people screaming, dying and stuff every now and then, depending on what's going on. If I never came to dig deep, I don't really know, to be honest. Like, as, as far as where I am right now, I don't really know where I would be. Oh, good, how are you? Yeah, Oh, gee, Storm! Yes, I'm so glad you came, man. I came in last week. Hey? I came in last week. It's a platform that allows people to kind of feel accepted. You know what I mean? In this crazy world that we live in and, you know, like whether it's at school and, you know, getting bullied or whatnot or feeling, or, you know, you're growing up and you're trying to work out who you are and, you know, you're alone in your own mind. And then all of a sudden you come to a place where it's kind of like, wow, everyone's just sharing, you know, it's all right for me to feel however. And, you know, like I'm getting encouraged to bring that out. I can't out, wait for the last you know I mean? year. You don't um, get to see that a lot. It doesn't you know? Lord of the Rings go for like four hours and <laughs> The first time we ever performed on a big stage and then, you know, there's like all these big seats, you know, and then there's like, you know, thousands of people, you know, sitting, you know, for me it was like, whoa, you know, we're going to perform in front of all these people, us, wow, you know, that's crazy, you know, and afterwards it's like mentor say I, I had a big smile, you know, like, I don't know, I couldn't believe it, like, the whole time my head was running in 360, you know, just trying to think like me, a kid from the refugee camp who was poor, I never had nothing in my life, really. I, I, I never had nothing. And then I'm on stage at the Art Center, like the whole world knows the Art Center, you know, and I'm there performing. Well, 10 years on, I guess the thing I'm really happy about is that the program's still relevant to a whole bunch of young people. And I really like that it's providing opportunities for young people to kind of directly shape the direction and um, get a handle on a bunch of experiences that they can take from working in the program to outside the program as well. Part of the later development of Dig Deep was to kind of work out how to support young people to facilitate their own program, but also provide it as a career option in terms of being, people need to be paid for their time, people need to uh, be skilled, upskilled and supported by an organisation but as also be provided with the tools they need to be able to step up. You can't just hand over the keys to something and go, here you go. The most significant change is that the leadership crew has literally come out of participating in the program and moved into those leadership roles. So the people who are making the leadership decisions are making it with that knowledge of what it's like to have been a participant. Dan West first came to us with the idea um, and he was sort of saying, well, what do you guys think about this? And at first, a lot of us were like, oh, I don't know if we can handle the responsibility and stuff like that. And, but it's something that we kind of always kind of wanted to do, but we weren't sure how to get there. And Dan kind of presented us with that opportunity. Um, and, you know, it wasn't always easy, but I feel like now, just after two years, we've really come into our own roles and we kind of know what we, we need to do. They're taking ownership, mm. ownership of it, and, and introducing new ideas, and you know, and that's that's exactly what you want in order to evolve. Like you need fresh ideas, yeah. you, you need new perspective, whether it sounds like oh, it's a bit crazy or not. Like you, it's just that conversation. Conversation needs to be had, you know. Mm. And that's exactly what they're doing every week when they come in. That's what it is. <laughs> totally, man. It's really <laughs> empowering for us to so to go through that now. experience like full circle. You know what I mean? Over these few years, what we've been able to accomplish as a young leadership crew has been incredible, especially, you know, since none of us have never really been in a leadership position before, you know, the passion for this program has just, you know, inspired us to be step up our own game. Being a Dig Deep leader has given me a lot of opportunities, like doing um, facilitation programs, helping put on events within the channel and um, other surrounding areas. 
The ultimate goal for Dig Deep is to keep that pattern going. So to train up another team of youth leaders after us, um, you know, and the cycle keeps continuing so that more young people can get those kind of professional opportunities um, in making art and doing stuff that they love. So it's, it's important. Yeah. I'm over the out of bounds, that's fake. I'm getting texts like 12 days late. If you're not into it, then that's okay. Let me know what it is and I'll be on my way like... Hey, Walter and Matilda, my dream girl was a cut on midfielder. Ideally, she'd play for Richmond, and after the game, then we'd be kissing. If it weren't for Dig Deep, I don't think I would be teaching um, or studying teaching, to be honest. This isn't school, but it kind of is. Back in the day, I was a really shy person. Like, I would just not talk at all and just be so scared of talking to people just in general that I don't think I would have the, the courage to really do that. But Dig Deep has put me in situations where I've had to go out to speak and speak to lots of people and perform to lots of people. Um, and with that experience, I've grown confidence um, in being able to, to really know what I want to do, if that makes sense. And it sounds, it sounds funny because sometimes some, some people don't find it hard, but it's skills to be empathetic and skills to, to, um, to care about um, your work and the people that it, that it affects. You know, ultimately, I'd love to teach hip hop in a school one day, that'd be, that'd be the, the dream job right there, to have that kind of teaching experience with my hip hop, you know, passion and knowledge. I think that's like the ultimate combination. When I came to Australia, I was 11 years old. Yeah. We came where our souls were basically beat down. My mother's, uh, my father and stuff, like they were never there for me and stuff. We dig deep, like, I don't know, they raised us. And for me, it literally felt like home, literally like it was home. It helped me realize that not everything is a catastrophe <laughs> and like, um, I think it, it helped me definitely, like, get over the barrier of, like, I'll never be able to write a proper song or that kind of stuff. And it, it allowed me to get more into a headspace where I could... Um, ..where I could just write and not have to think about how bad the lyrics would sound and all that kind of stuff. And I feel really proud of the fact that I ended up doing that and I feel, like, really grateful for the amount of support I've gotten from everyone at Dig Deep to be able to do that. Dig Deep is representative of musical and mental progression. I found a change in perspective, an opportunity for expression to convey a hopeful message. I was lost in the Deep Blue's oppression until I found the world open for a mind reflective of adversity no longer in control and possession. I found my strength in those rhymes, even in the hardest of times, a reason to climb. Dig Deep is... I think it's awesome and I'm happy that it's still going today because, you know, you're growing and it's evolved from this pilot program to, yeah, to here now. I've seen it impact young people in a number of ways, but the coolest thing has been seeing the growth and the journey that these young people go on from week to week to week. Coming to Dig Deep, it kind of made me embrace my individuality rather than, like, shy away from it because I felt like before that, you know, I kind of felt maybe a bit embarrassed about my disability and stuff, but whereas Dig Deep kind of showed me, you know, you can be anything you want and, you know, it's cool that you're different. I feel like I'm stronger, not like physically, but like mentally and like, you know, spiritually. I understand that even if something doesn't go to plan, right, it's not the end of the world. Like you just plan ahead of that. If, if one plan messes up, make another plan for that. If that goes down, make another plan. Keep, you know, continue until you get to your goal. The biggest thing that Dig Deep has given me is opportunities and confidence and belief in myself to doing what I want to do. And um, yeah, I'm so grateful for that. And looking back and going, wow, like a year ago, um, you were just starting out and you were just 
giving these things a try for the first time and now you know you're writing your own music you're releasing your own albums you're standing on stage and spitting your rhymes where when i met you you were too shy to even say hello dig dig nurtures now that i think about it oh man like i actually cherish those moments it made me realize that i could push myself harder than i'd ever done before it's changed me for the better it's changed me um, in the way that I relate to people, it's changed me in the way that I work with people um, and it's changed in, in my perceptions of how I see life, you know? I think when a young person does have access to that creative outlet, um, I think it can do incredible things for them because it can, it can um, help them understand who they are as people but also um, what makes them important and valuable as people.